Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Al. And it is the 1st of January, which means not only is it a new year, it's also time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what the new printable looks like, see my first set, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to Sheetload of Cards, this is a free printable I put out for subscribers each month. It is two pages and it gives you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your supplies and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 depending on the paper size and sketch. Today I'll be sharing a first look at the printable, my first set, and then letting you know how you can download the printable to make your own sheet load. Tomorrow, I will be back to show you the process of how I created my cards, and my team of collaborators and a special guest will be joining me and sharing their first sets for the month. I do have all of the collaboration team and the special guests linked down in the description box below, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to and follow them so you're all ready for their sets tomorrow. I would like to introduce you to our guest artist for January 2024, Helen of the Crafty Mama Diaries YouTube channel. I noticed her sharing her sheet loads in recent months and was thrilled when she agreed to be our first guest artist. Up on screen are Helen's social media links and I will also have those linked below. And now let's do a little Q&A with her. I hope that if you don't already follow her channel here on YouTube, you'll take a minute to do that after this video. Not only will you start to see special guests joining us each month in 2024, but the January 2024 sheet load of cards is extra special. I am doing a fun collaboration with another card sketch creator. Before I tell you who it is, go ahead and throw your guesses down in that comment section below. Before we take a look at this month's printable, I do have a few special channel members to recognize. I had a couple channel members earn their two-year membership badge in the month of December, so I would like to take a minute to give them a special shout out. Thank you so much to M. Colette De La Guardia and Francis Crowell. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you as well to all of my channel members who keep me creating here on YouTube and Sheetload of Cards free for all subscribers. If you're ever interested in finding out about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Are you ready to see the printable and find out about the exciting collaboration? Here is a look at the January 2024 sheet load of cards. If you are also a fan of Kendra's card challenge, this sketch might look familiar. This month I am using sketch number 5 from Kendra's card challenge number 12 and instead of showing you how to make lots of different designs of cards like Kendra does, I'm going to show you how you can make a sheet load of just one of her sketches. Now make sure to check out her channel and her collaborators this month, which I will have links in the description box below to help you find that. She is using some past sheet load of card sketches in her printable. Hers is a quarterly challenge and there's lots of fun prizes if you play along, so make sure that you check that out. If you're a fan of Kendra's card challenge already, give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're new to hearing about her challenge, let me know about that in that comment section below. 
This month's printable is going to show you how you can make nine cards with just three pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock. As always, if you like the sketch but you don't necessarily want to do a whole sheet load, I do have single card dimensions given right here. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to have a suggestion for you on how to cut your pieces here so they line up correctly for the final card, but I have also typed it out here under May I Suggest. So if you're going to get started today, I would take note of that maybe before you make those first cuts. Like I say each month, sheet load is a great jumping off point for you to make these cards your own. I do usually give some alternative ideas down here at the bottom of page one. You might want to pop up pieces. You might want to rotate the sketch. Do whatever works with your pattern papers and your focal points. On page two of the printable are the cutting guides, where I will show you how to cut each of the pattern papers and each of the card stocks. This month's cutting guides are a little bit different. Instead of these two being the same cuts, you do just have to keep cutting until you yield the pieces you need. But again, tomorrow I'll be back to show you how to do that. For CS1, it suggests a full piece of cardstock, but these are going to be two inch circles. So if you have some scraps you want to use up, this is going to be a great piece for that. And as always, you'll need some card bases. I do suggest top folding for this month, but you can always do a side fold if that's what you prefer. Another thing to keep in mind is you only need nine card bases, but your five pieces of cardstock cut in half folded in half will yield you 10. So you'll have one extra card base to use for another project. Or maybe you could even use up the scraps of pattern paper on that 10th card base. And speaking of scraps, this month I do have some suggestions of how you could use up the extra pattern paper. Mine would be for the inside of the card, and when I show you my set later, you'll see how I use that. Before we take a look at my first set of cards, let's take a quick peek at the main supplies I used. For my set of cards this month, I'm going to go with kind of a love Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day theme. I went to my local scrapbook store recently, which is Busy Scrapping here in Omaha, and I picked up some fun Valentine's papers and this cute set of stamps to go with it. This stamp set is Love Is All You Need from Echo Park, and it's from their Love Notes line. I will be stamping this cute little envelope with hearts coming out of it with bubble gum ink. And to die cut my focal point, I got out Tailored Expressions Stitch Circle Stacklets dies. Now the sketch does call for a two inch circle, so you can find a die that's close or choose another size or shape to fit your needs. For my pattern papers, I also went with the Echo Park Love Notes line. I just fell in love with these little mailboxes and then it has that same little envelope with hearts on it. My second piece are some heart arrows and the third piece are colorful envelopes. For my matting, I got out spearmint cardstock from Tailored Expressions and for my focal points, I will be using a piece of white cardstock for the circles. I of course also will get out some cardstock for my card bases and in tomorrow's video, I'll tell you about other products and tools I use for this set. Now let's take a look at my first set of cards using the January 2024 sheet load of cards. I hope you enjoyed that look at my first set of cards using the January 2024 sheet load of cards. You might have noticed I added some extra decoration with some diamond dots on the front and to the inside by using up some scraps. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable so you can make a sheet load for yourself. As always, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel before you click on the link to the printable, which I'll tell you where that's at in just a minute. 
We do just go on the honor system here. Please make sure if you're going to download the file that you have already clicked on that subscribe button below this video. It's free, it's quick, and it's easy. To get your copy of the January 2024 sheet load of cards, you're going to look for the link in the description box. It's going to be below my PO box address and below the link it will say to watch the video for a password. You watching this far is your password. And if you're inspired to get crafty with the new sheet load, make sure to use the hashtags at the top of the printable. That way we can come see what you're creating as well. Until tomorrow, when I'll be back with the process video and my collaboration team will be joining me. I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.